This album is fucking amazing. Hey everyone. Yes, it's another vlog rant. You know, just a non music video. Well, it's music related, but it's not me making music. It's actually me reviewing music. Yes, I'm also doing album reviews now. <laughs> and yes, this is actually a CD. As some of you know, I, uh, this is the CD, obviously. Uh, as some of you know, um, I basically almost completely shifted to downloading mp3s like you know legally like on Amazon and stuff because it's just cheaper and more convenient but this time I just saw it in the store and I just bought it because I've been waiting for this album to come out and um, yeah so anyway <clears throat> this is the brand new album by German synth pop goth pop uh, Electro, electronic, electronica, uh, atmospheric electronica, uh, two man group division, uh, who are also who, who are also often referred to the German Depeche Mode. Yes, I, and I'm not making this up. Um, this has been going on for years. You know, this uh, uh, band exists since I don't know late 80s early 90s i believe and especially their void album has um often been compared to one album by deepish mode i forgot which it was but uh yeah and actually there are some deepish mode influences on this album the album is called 13 because it's their 13th album so you know they've been quite uh busy they they you know they're a pretty old band so to speak i mean they originally they were three guys and now they're two for the last i don't know 10 15 years of their careers and actually their last two albums were kind of low i think well the um the album pop gefahr which is also uh, the name of their new record label they've been assigned to since since that album has been better than the last one but the last one on the last album there was maybe one or two songs that really blew me away but this album with this album they return to form they've got two new producers they've got um they they really they uh, if you're a fan of uh, their earlier work, especially like, you know, Void, maybe Subkutan, uh, Six Feet Underground, Noob, these albums, this album is pretty similar to that. They use song structures, synthesizers, sounds, effects, um, melodies maybe even, and chords that when you hear it you you think hmm i this reminds me of that song from from that not you know it's not like they they just copy from previous songs but they you know uh, subconsciously incorporate their older style they return to the older style they return to the older form i mean this album is is pretty strong as well like what i mean by that is there are for me at least there are maybe two songs that there, there's one song that i don't like at all it's it's synchronized so i don't know maybe you like that song maybe you maybe you don't even know this band or this album because even though they've been going for like 25 years or some um they managed to stay pretty much underground and they crowdfunded this album actually so yeah they've never even though they tour all around the world especially and they're especially famous in germany they managed to stay, you know, quite underground. Like, if I were to go, you know, ask random people, random passers-by on the street, like, maybe, I guess maybe one or two of, of out of ten people would know this band, I'd, I'd assume. It's, like, in, in contrast to when I, if I would ask, like, 
do you know Justin Bieber? Like 10 out of 10 would say yes. Uh, so that's, you know, it's all relative, of course. Uh, but yeah, so I especially like um, the songs Who Am I? Uh, Essence also, uh, but it's not as good as Who Am I? Then... Where's the light? Prisoner. Prisoner is so fucking beautiful. It's like a typical, <laughs> you know, put your lighters up and just close your eyes. And it's it's basically it's the ballad on this song, uh, on this album. Gasoline is fucking kick ass, and the firing line. So there are these five songs. They are my favorites. Like synchronized. I said I didn't like it all. Um, read your mind. Their world. Star Child, Child is like, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's all right, but it's not that good. So with, with, um, who am I? You've got, uh, it already, st I, I would play it in the background, but fucking YouTube will probably give me a copyright strike if I play one second of the fucking song. So fuck you, YouTube. So who am I starts out with this. They, they actually they use a lot of crazy effects I've I've seen on this album and and filters and I've seen like I've seen uh, a video on their channel or on their on the, the channel of their uh, record label where is it Ken uh, I think it's Ken Porter one of the producers who explains and guides us through one of uh, one of their songs and it's I think it's on Logic. The, the program logic and it's like 30 uh, audio and MIDI tracks and instrument tracks and <laughs> they've got all these plugins and it's crazy it's it I'm I'm sure it takes it takes weeks to to program and arrange these songs it's and say oh we use this kick here we use this snare drum here we used this effect on this uh, we stretch this you know it's 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 crazy so who am i starts with this i i, I don't know with this key change or uh, there are a lot of key change this this harmonies key changes this harmonies switches between you know positive and negative mood i don't know like and between chords and melodies that have lots of you know black keys in them but then you know it switches to chords and, mel and melodies and notes with almost no black keys or no black keys at all so you get that that switch that's something that you hear on who am i a lot it already starts with this <laughs> you know i sound crazy i know but and then it just kicks in with this <laughs> and um <laughs> i i think it's it's fucking awesome you've got this uh it builds up and it builds up then you've got this this break with this and and you sort of hear uh I think it's a guitar in the background and it you know it's it's got this I think that you can call that a key change I don't know if when when the chorus when when he sings uh that's not who I am and this do do you know the mood suddenly sw uh, shifts and that's fucking awesome and at at the in the outro you know it builds up more and more you get uh, the, there's there are some you know power chords with the guitar that you know kick in and you the strings kick in and it's it's fucking awesome I love that song oh in the chorus you've got some key changes I love key changes that's one aspect of their music that's very similar to Depeche Mode I'd say so yeah but uh, Essence is a little weaker but also it's it's an awesome song because it, surprisingly on this album there are a lot of real drums and it's very electronic but there are a, real, a lot of real drums a lot of guitars um, or guitar like uh, sounds at least but a lot of guitars um, real guitars uh, either in the background or in the foreground even um, and yeah in essence you know you've got this it's, it's, it's <laughs> sounds uh, drums but um, then 
in in the chorus it sounds very yeah rock inspired with real drums so to speak but the melody it's basically the melody it's it's the same on the song their world it's a very simple melody that probably has been used a million times like uh do 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 it's so simple and on their world it's the same it's uh do 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 So it's so fucking simple, but still, I I like it. Yeah, then you've got the song uh, Star Child, which uh, there are some parts that sound too like cliche gothic to me with with a techno sound like do, 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 do. <laughs> and then on top of that you've got the oots, oots, oots sounds and then you've got you know high uh, pitched piano notes ding 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 and and this these typical deep uh, vocals on my way to the stars it sounds so cliche gothic i fucking hate this but but It's still a good song. <laughs> it's it's just I, I can't really take it seriously. Like it reminds me of Unheilig and Umf and and Blut Engel and all these bands. But yeah, then where's the you've got where's the lie, which is one of my favorite uh, uh, songs. Like I said, there's one melody which I don't know if it's a key change or whatever what that is, but I've heard this melody before. It somehow it triggers me it's it's like yet filled with ugly lies it sounds so brave I don't, i don't know how to explain it i love it but yeah you've got that and the song is about you know it's interesting from lyrical standpoint because it's about indoctrination and stuff like that so yeah then i said like i said prisoner is The beautiful ballad it's not much i can say about that it's just so beautiful with the strings and the slow drums and but there are even on that song there are so many crazy effects like in the <laughs> something like that it's it's different I, i would play it in the background like i said but fucking youtube fucking youtube um yeah so it's the wonderful ballad oh yeah i want to hit on gasoline because you've got It's the most industrial inspired song on this album, I say. Um, uh, it's got, it starts out with. It's a very simple but hard and harsh beat. Um, and you've got all these crazy sounds in the background, in, in the chorus at least. And he, he sings like, They shall, you shall burn in hell. Dip them in gasoline. And there's the key change. You heard it? Gasoline. I fucking love that. It's one of my favorite songs also. Then the, the, the album takes off on a fucking spectacular note with the, uh, with the song The Firing Line, which lyrically is about... It's also about indoctrination, about maybe oppression by the state and by the military and especially indoctrination in the military and you know the firing line it's you know the the lyrics are there's a brother on the other side a father a son like you know remind yourself that in war these are people there's on the other side your on your enemy side these are people too these are brothers fathers sons etc that's um, and it's it's pretty awesome like because it starts out and, and this is reflected in the music as well it starts out with like yeah i wake up to kids playing the sound of kids playing in the summer breeze and suddenly my heart feels so sore i can hardly breathe so you got that contrast uh and yeah it's the same like with with um the uh, music as well you've got uh, uh it starts out with almost like this cliche you know playful ding 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 beat <laughs> and and then it starts out with these sort of uh electric piano very soft and beautiful i i I'd assume there are a lot of black keys you know in, in these chords that really remind me of the song Klangmonaut or of, um, uh, what's it called this on, on the album Subkutan Mind the Wind, My Love what, what's that called? if you know it, 
write write it to me in the comments. Let me know in the comments. It, there, so the, this is one of the songs where they explicitly use um, use sounds that harken back to their previous albums, like. Like you know, they they changed their style on the previous two albums, Rockets and Swords and Pop Gefahr, a little bit. But now they they go back to these awesome sounds that you know from Noob, Subkutan, Six Feet Under, Void, etc. For instance, on um, on Essence, there's this guitar-like sound. This dum 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 dum. It I swear it was used on. Nine Lives, maybe, or on Obsolete, maybe, I don't know, maybe Deep Blue, maybe uh, Far Side of the Moon, somewhere on, on the Noob album. Um, and that's fucking awesome. And on Gasoline, you've got this, oh, this creepy choir sound, which, I, which was used on Obsolete from the Noob album, which is one of my favorite songs ever. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's fucking awesome. Like I said, on, on the firing line, they've got, you know, they've got this beautiful E piano, electric piano sound that's pretty similar to Klang Monaut and previous songs, like I said. But yeah, you know, it starts with this beautiful, very positive, very black key heavy uh, these black key heavy chords and melodies and notes and then you know there's a break <laughs> and um, then it's the second verse then there's another break and then the chorus starts and it it suddenly changes uh, I don't know I, I think it's a key change maybe it's just like a change between mm, harmonies or I don't know, or black key heavy and non-black key heavy uh, chords, but it suddenly becomes negative and it just goes like powerful with all these sounds and 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 all these crazy sounds in the background and and he sings, press the lead, erase your mind, step out of line. So it's very, it pushes forward and the, like the lyrics are, pretty awesome like like i said it's about indoctrination and realize trying to mm, empathize with others trying to see the world through other people's eyes trying to get inside a person's mind and and feel you know their pain or whatever and yeah and the lyrics use a lot of crazy metaphors as well i mean like I said, it starts out with kids playing in the summer breeze and his heart being sore and then suddenly there's a shooting star coming from afar from a world I long to be so he doesn't want to be on, on this world and then it, it shifts from this like indoctrination through the media like uh, I hear the siren song, the TV plays along or at first it's the radio and then the second verse the TV plays along and then... After the first chorus, there's another break, and there are no more lyrics. There's another break, and then there's just the second and last chorus, and then it takes off. It just with this awesome outro, you, you've got the basic chords and melodies from the chorus, choruses, but there's another bass line that's that starts, and then there's another, there's another high-pitched melody that starts after a while and it's it just it sounds so epic like very orchestral if you i mean if it were to be played by classic instruments it would be very very epic like hans zimmer or sag hems you know, so. mm, but it has some very monotos, mon monotonous monotonous um drums but that's neither here or there and and the song is like almost seven minutes long i didn't realize it because it's so awesome it it and it only has like one verse basically so i i really i didn't it didn't feel like seven minutes to me almost like this review because i've been recording for almost half an hour and it feels like five minutes but uh, yeah so another interesting fact is that on their world if, if i like i said prisoner is the ballad um gasoline is the industrial song 
their world is the dance song, so to speak. Um, because it's very, it's, it's very danceable, if you will, and it's very easy going. Uh, the lyrics are very uh, slightly aggressive, but, you know, the beat is very, like, lounge, I don't know, something that you would hear on a dance floor. Mm. But, interestingly enough, and this is something that is very rare for this band, I think, like, normally when they use guitars, like, for instance, on... Uh, who am I or on on star child it's either distortion this dis distorted chords or it's it's singular notes like or like picked notes like boom boom da da do do something like that but on uh, their world in in the in the third um, verse the 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 mood suddenly shifts and it becomes very sad he sings like father i have sinned or something like that and it's like it's a strummed very high notes like something that you would hear in a indie pop song like ding, 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 ding. something like that <laughs> i know i look like an idiot when i try to imitate this but um yeah so that's that's something i wanted to add so yeah but this was a very chaotic review but anthony, anthony fantano, fantano best, best season of the game, game you know who it is. in summary i love this album i can only recommend it it's it was released two or three weeks ago, I think, on the 17th or something like that of June. Um, I bought it on the 18th, I think. And it's the album is like they return to form. It's better than Rockets and Swords. It's better than Pop Gefahr. I don't know if it's better than uh, better than 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 uh, Noob or better than Zubkutan, but it's definitely better than Void, I would say, and it's definitely better than Six Feet Underground. I've even read some people saying it's their best album yet, which I disagree with, but it's really fucking good. It's it's on par with Zubkutan and Noob and all the old stuff. So, yeah, fucking hell, I love this album. Thanks for watching. Oh, I'll probably do a review on on the new Zhao Zin album. Or maybe I shouldn't say probably because I don't know yet. But and maybe I'll, I'll upload some Star Wars related videos in the next few days or weeks. So look forward to that. <laughs> yeah, I, that's it. I, I thank you very much for watching. Peace the fuck out.